I'm going to Disney World! <laughs> there are NFTs even sold for millions of dollars. But I don't know if you're interested in earning that money. But if you are interested in NFTs and like the way of investments, after some good videos from us from Peak DeFi about the NFT market, we're coming to the point this video is about how evaluate NFT on demand. I'm going to Disney World! <laughs> that I made is very much influenced by the tools and influenced by the work of a bunch of people in the crypto community as well. Hey Mike, this is Jason. I just want to say congratulations. You're at 25 million, 250,000. This is crazy, man. Jesus Christ, what the f <gasps> Oh my God! Oh my God! It's oh oh 50 million! What? Oh my God! 69 million. I think it probably means digital art is here to stay. I'm going to Disney World! <laughs> There are a lot of things happening right now in the crypto space, particularly on the side of NFTs. You may have seen various NFTs projects that are skyrocketing in the price right now, like CryptoPunks or Degenerate apps. So even so it's for a million of dollars. As always, it's all about timing and right positioning. Today we are going to discuss the two basic tips to find out the right NFT that could skyrocket based on its potential. We are going to talk about how you can find NFTs and have the most cost efficient value for your money. Even if you have your target NFT all the mint day, you have to write timing when to sell and when to buy more NFTs for a particular project. So before buying or selling an NFT, you have to identify if there's actually on demand for that particular NFT like I did in the other videos. Tip number one. So the first thing you have to look for is an NFT project with a lot of volume and the amount of wallet addresses that holds particular NFT project. Ideally, in a perfect situation, you should see one NFT per one wallet address, but usually that's not the case as collectors and retailers tend a hoard of certain amount of the NFTs for the future use or collection, but still you have to look for NFT projects with a healthy amount of ownership, about 40-50% of the total amount of an NFT project is usually a good start. So a diverse amount of ownership signals us a good community for that particular project. For example, as more people are being engaged with your target NFT, the more NFT project will run successfully and you will see an uptrend for its value. Makes sense, right? I have prepared one good example for you. And one good example of this is the Bored Ape Yacht Club with a total amount of 10,000 circulating supply. And there are a lot of 5,600K wallet address that own them. And this is the primary driving force that creates demand for a project. So this makes sense. If you divide the supply versus the total of owners, you will get an average of two board a yacht club NFT per wallet addresses. This signals a strong community plus a healthy amount of scarcity that drives this project. So now we're coming to the point we should also check a bad example to compare. So you have do bits. It has also 10,000 in supply, but only 1,300 in owners now this one is a bad example of project with no real community behind it this is worse and can be considered a dying project with no sustainable hype around it this simply means there's no real decentralization of the projects and there's too many factors that can drive the price up or down without any real demand for it so another thing you have to keep in mind is the number of circulating supply if the supply is too low there's also no real community behind it so another project i would like to highlight in this video is the dodge pound it has a good amount of supply and average amount of ownership falls between three to four nfts per wallet which is a good sign that there's enough nft for the whole community an average of four or less per wallet address is usually a good sign the second tip positive volume this video is about finding the right project that you can position yourself in. So we are talking about projects that existed not so long ago. Of course, other projects will lead to large volumes. So keep in mind that you need to find early projects with a good amount of positive volume trend. 
So ideally you want to be in the beginning stage of the project where there's tons of potential for the volume trend on keep on rising. We want to compare the volume of the project against itself. So as you can see in this chart, there's a little increase in volume over the past months. So in fact, this is becoming a flat pattern, which is really good and nothing special. In checking these Astro friends, you can immediately see a good increase in sales volume in the past days. And like crypto, it can go in cycles where they are traded and the price can swing. But the idea is to find the project with net increasing sales volume that could drive the prices up over the time. So Pachi Penguins is a good example of decentralization and ownerships. If we look at the sales volume that are straight up trained day by day, so which is insane. So this is a completely green light for all investors, by the way, out there. So this is the thing with cryptocurrency. It's always a cycle and you always will never know if there's going to be a pullback, a price correction or a huge breakthrough. This is very similar to NFTs. So the strategy is time yourself when you will buy an NFT project. You can either wait for a pullback for a substantial decrease on its floor price or check if there's a retail seller that sells way beyond the market price or you analyze the market early and position yourself on the right spot. These tips don't tell you when to buy or when to sell but rather guide you when the demand is. So it's like a map that tells you the direction of social hype and the pulse of the market world of women nft so take for example this successful project world of women as you can see it has quite good a good community behind it it have a nice ratio of supply versus ownership and it's traded with a good amount of volume but if we look at the graph you can see that although it had a nice run during its early stage average sales volumes is starting to drop this data tells you something about the project and the social pools of the market. And from there, you can make a decision whether to buy or sell an NFT. So it's a little bit in a real life when you have a woman. 